welcome back to Realism Overhaul. Uh, today we set off on a rather ambitious plan to send a Kerbal up into space. Um, it has been a total of about four years, a little bit less than four years, since Jebediah has uh, flown any sort of mission, and that was back in the Hester uh, RJ-1. Um, by the way, we actually have constructed, I believe, three X-Planes now, but, uh, but the thing is, we haven't seen any of them fly because there's no contracts available that we can actually use them with. Um, but what, in one of the coming uh, episodes, we'll showcase a few of the X-Planes that have been flying, um, sort of getting their wings, so to speak. But yeah, it's been about four years since Shibadiah has flown, and uh, without any contracts to fly in the atmosphere, we of course... Uh, do have the contracts to send him um, above the Carmen line and into space. Into space is sort of extra. I don't think we had that contract yet. Um, but the whole premise of this is um, why this is such a, a sort of deal, a big deal. The thing is, we don't have any space capsules yet. We haven't researched that, and that research is going to take a long time. So, uh, Cosmonaut Crash actually. Um, shot an idea by me that I thought was <laughs> just ridiculous enough to work. And that is you take a, a regular old X-Plane cockpit here and then you put it inside of a fairing uh, because the fairing can take a lot of the re-entry heat that the uh, X-Plane cockpit, can, X -plane cockpit cannot. So essentially you encase the cockpit in a, uh, an egg and you send it up into space and then you jettison it out of the egg. Um, once re-entry is complete. <laughs> so, it's it's very crude, um, I, but I think it's just ridiculous enough to work. <laughs> and this was actually uh, through design. Uh, we came up with a name, and that name was called Subasaur, AKA Chicken Wing. And you'll have to thank Tree Hugger uh, for that on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is sort of the idea. All, all it was, the return capsule is just the X-Plane cockpit, a parachute, and then I added an I-beam because the um, the collision speed that um, it's capable of with withstanding is 80 meters, whereas the cockpit is much lower than 80 meters. I did have to struggle a little bit to get that fairing to actually work. For a while it wasn't like letting me select it, so I had to resize it here. But essentially what you see built right now is what's going to re-enter. This, of course, has no engine. It is just a glider. It is actually capable of gliding. It has full control with those riders. So now what we're designing is a single stage to push it into space, into a suborbital trajectory that goes above the Kármán line for the contract. And actually, I ended up uh, giving it a little bit too much delta V, so it was able to go completely suborbital. Um, I believe the ending stats, if I have right here, um, well, I haven't written it down, but I believe it's 160 kilometers or so. Now, right here I'm actually experiencing a sort of bug that I have never uh, come across before, and this has something to do with Ferrum Aerospace Research. For some reason, everything um, on the first stage isn't being registered by Ferrum. It is only registering the uh, re-entry stage. And I'm not exactly sure why this is. Um, luckily, oh, it's it's pretty self-explanatory that these uh, these fins are going to be aerodynamically stable, but Ferrum doesn't think so. Uh, despite the readings, uh, the engineering team says it's good to go. <laughs> Jebediah is excited to once again fly, <laughs> even if he's strapped in an egg that he cannot see out of. Into space for the very first time. This is the first time that any Kerbal is ever going to experience zero gravity. And perhaps in the future, we'll be able to actually, you know, see the Earth from space. We did have footage from the last video, however. Seeing it with their own eyes is definitely an ambition. So, on the 2nd of August, 1956, Subasaur, aka Chicken Wing, is set out onto the launch pad, Jebediah is strapped in and ready to go.
astonishment of all, and bewildering to some, Subasaur's mission was a complete and utter success, and has actually completed a lot of world firsts and contracts that were not expected. Um, but with that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.